report. Well, the day of Pentecost has come, the 50th day of the season of Easter. Uh, welcome to St. George's Memorial Anglican Church in Oshawa. I'm the priest, Judy Herring Graham, and I'm here with uh, the Reverend Dean Martin from St. Matthew's, Oshawa. We are here to pray on this Feast of Pentecost. We begin this morning on page 98 in the Book of Alternative Services. God's love has been poured into our hearts. We dwell in him and he in us. Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Sing to him, sing praises to him. And speak of all his marvelous works. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Who was and is and is to come. And for the final time this year, we say the canticle Christ our Passover. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship. Alleluia, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast not with the old leaven, the leaven of malice and evil, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ, being raised from the dead, will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death that he died, he died to sin once for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So also consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. For since by a man came death, by a man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. Alleluia. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, who fulfilled the promises of Easter by sending us your Holy Spirit, and opening to every race and nation the way of life eternal. Keep us in unity of your spirit that every tongue may tell of your glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Uh, this is a reading for the day of Pentecost, a reading from the book of Acts. When the day of Pentecost had come, the apostles were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there, was a, there came a sound like a rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as of fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now they were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound... The crowd gathered and was bewildered because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not these all who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own language? Parthians, Medes, Eliamites, the residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phygria and Pamphylia, Egypt and parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own languages, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said they are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you suppose, for it is only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be God, declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in the heaven above, the sign on the earth below, blood and fire, smoky mist. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls in the name of the Lord shall be saved. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks be to God. <laughs> okay. 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 But. Okay. Pentecost. Pentecost. Fire, it's, wind, go. Sort of a continuation <laughs> of, of last week, what you said about ascension. And Jesus imparted to the 12, I guess to the 11, um, you know, and said, go, you know, um, I'll meet you in Jerusalem. And they turned from being disciples who were followers to apostles who were sent. Right. And they were sent to Jerusalem to wait for Jesus. And, and like we said last week, more could be done by those 12 empowered people than by one Jesus who set up an office, one, one risen Christ who set up an office in the temple. Right. So in terms of getting around the world. So then we go from 12 to all kinds of people all of through Jerusalem right. um, who get this explosion of wind and fire. And the, the limits of language mm -hmm. are not an excuse for the early Christians to say, well, we couldn't speak Greek so they couldn't hear Jesus' good news. They, or we can't talk to them because we don't speak Hindi or we can't speak to them because we don't speak the barbaric language of whoever's up north. We don't do that. But whether they spoke multiple languages or, or the people who heard multiple language, who were listening, heard multiple languages, it was the message of Jesus got across to people from all over the world who were in Jerusalem. But that begs the point we were talking about a few minutes ago, and that is that this is not a warm, fuzzy festival. You know, Christmas is, you know, sweet yeah. baby. Um, Easter morning, it's quiet. You can imagine yourself walking and, you know, in the early morning dew and all of that. It's romantic. And it's, yeah. It, and you, you go from being heartbroken to being delighted. Yes. Right. So, and but yeah. then you get this power and tongues like fire and they sound drunk and it's this big it's a chaotic crowd scene yes. with wind and fire and not not just fire in a candle but an out out of control what like last year with the california wildfires the one thing that the firefighters all asked for and prayed for and i know they were praying mm -hmm. was for the wind to die down Mm -hmm. Because the wind kept fanning the flames and mm -hmm. it kept going farther and farther and the, and the fire was even stronger and stronger. The thought that something of that magnitude and power would be and responsibility to burn appropriately and spread. Mm -hmm. To be entrusted oh. to someone like me and have that kind of responsibility mm -hmm. and charge put inside mm -hmm. me and in my heart not by a peer, but by God himself, by the virtue mm -hmm. of uh, baptism, mm -hmm. is weighty. That is heavy. Mm -hmm. It's, it, it's I, I, Pentecost I love mm -hmm. because it's not cheap no, to live I, out a Pentecostal mm -hmm. faith, a faith that is full of life and vigor is hard. Mm -hmm. It is not sunshine and puppy dogs. It is, hard, it is lambs to wolves. Because it calls us to go from our place of comfort, sometimes to a place of discomfort, where the language may not be understood, where the faith may not be shared. And comfort can be found knowing mm. that, that Comfort can be found knowing that it's not about accomplishing how many Christians did you make or how many mm -hmm. people did you talk to to spread my word. Mm -hmm. That is not the measure in which you're judged or judgment is offered because mm -hmm. that's, that's mm -hmm. not the assessment. Mm -hmm. The assessment is good. Oh, you tried, you failed, you're forgiven. Go again. Mm -hmm. yeah, you're forgiven. And I love you and I love others and you've got this charge to do that. Now go do it. Oh, you're hurting? Yep, I forgive you. Let me heal you. Now get up and move. Okay, let's keep going. And I think that it's that constant pressing of will, mm -hmm. that loving, powerful will that we are brought into and caught up in mm -hmm. is what yeah, Pentecost is supposed to be. Key. Not just a flickle flame like a brush fire that you can stomp out with your feet, but a wild raging mm -hmm. inferno, inferno that is intimidating and scary yeah. and responsible. responsible. 
and amazing. Amen. Amen. Only two of us, Ian, but lots of words. Yes, lots Some of words, words are fun. We continue with our worship on page 52 of the Book of Alternative Services, reciting our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe, I believe in, in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he, he suffered, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate was, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. For the intercessions this morning, the response to the bidding we pray to the Lord is, send your spirit into our lives. Send your spirit into our lives. Let us pray for the church. Spirit God, who orders all for the common good, fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we might proclaim your word boldly and speak the marvels you have accomplished. We pray to the Lord. Send your spirit into our lives. Let us pray for every nation under heaven. May each of us hear in our own tongue the message of peace and cooperation and be glad in your works. Let the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord be glad in his works. We pray to the Lord. Send your spirit, spirit into, into our lives. lives. Let us pray for all who know poverty. Come, Father of the poor. Come, giver of God's gifts. Come, light of every heart. We pray to the Lord. Send, Send your, your spirit, spirit into, into our, our lives. lives. 
Let us pray for all who serve God in the church. Accomplish in us for the common good the variety that builds strong the church. Give different gifts in the same spirit. May there be different ministries, but the same Lord. We pray to the Lord. Send your spirit spirit into our lives. Let us pray for those who have died. Have mercy on the beloved, for if you take away their breath, they perish and return to the dust. Send forth your spirit, and they are created. We pray to the Lord. Send your spirit into into our our lives. lives. Spirit of truth, guide us into all truth. Consume the lies that shroud the world in hate. Pray in us with the sighs too deep for words, with hope for a new world. Through Jesus Christ, who goes to the right hand of God. Amen. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us praise our Savior taught us. Our Our Father Father in heaven, heaven, hallowed hallowed be your name. name. Your Your kingdom kingdom come. come. Your will be be done done on on earth as as in heaven. heaven. Give Give us today today our daily bread. bread. Forgive Forgive us our sins, as as we forgive forgive those who sin against us. us. Save Save us from from the time of trial, and deliver us from from evil. For For the the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory glory are yours, forever and and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you.